I'm Andrew Schnock. I'm one of the directors of We Always Lie to Strangers. I'm Lockie Nathan. I'm the director of 12 O'Clock Boys. I'm the guy that Lafayette called when you needed a lens or a battery. He's a producer. <laughs> I, I loved and feel honored that Lati put together something that I'm so proud of and that I was just a, you know, was able to be some sort of key member of and without Lati pulling together so many talented people and getting the best from them, whether it was a crew member or someone on camera, it just, it's like, you know, this little party that was also a very serious film that was, um, you know, sensational and controversial, but he balanced it out. So I just feel really lucky to be a part of this project. It's amazing to see that there are these these pockets, you know, around the country, around the world, where people are working under a rock, you know, on, on these pieces. And it's a very insecure process. And at this stage, now, for, for me, this is my first festival run. So seeing that there's this community and there's a, a moment of validation, you know, where everyone's sharing it together, it's great. You know, and then also, you know, showing it to the people that you made it with, that's by far the most rewarding thing. I think, you know, people are, people go to see the, these movies most of the time because they're getting to see a world that they wouldn't otherwise be a part of, and that's why we make the movies. When we get to go to these worlds and, and live in them, and that's not our, our life. I mean, he doesn't, you know, live with, you know, people who, you know, ride bikes in Baltimore, and I don't work on a country music show in Branson, Missouri. So, uh, but we get to live this life and we get to be am amongst people who do do that. And, uh, and I think for audiences, it's a very similar uh, experience to, to go somewhere they haven't been before. And these are our, our important artistic and journalistic statements. And I truly believe that. Um, and although you may not compare journalism necessarily um, in its uh, purest uh, conventional sense with a documentary, I truly believe they're important windows and, and, and these filmmakers are providing a very important service. I've, I was always told uh, in war, in, uh, in turmoil, in, in, uh, in any kind of uh, understanding, even if it's not conflict, if it's, uh, if it's just another uh, culture, another situation, the only way to deconstruct that for people is to make them identify with it. So that's the, I think that's the success of a good documentary is that you you identify.